Hey yo everybody, welcome to another Terraria video. And you may be like, oh, here goes Gamer just blowing stuff up for views again. Yes, I am. But this time I've taken in some of your guys' suggestions and also found a couple more mods that blow stuff up slash destroy things. And also one disclaimer, the holy hand grenade is not something that is in PC Terraria. It is only on the 3DS version and mobile version of Terraria. I don't play that shit. So don't comment about the holy hand grenade, please no offense to my mobile and 3ds players but yeah we are here we're gonna start off with uh the snowman cannon the snowman cannon combined with rocket 4 because this was another one that was requested and you know i like to leave my videos sort of with an ambiguous ending you know i have an ending to where i can make a part two if needed so that's why i didn't use the snowman cannon in the original video so here we go just put it to the test it's a fast rocket that's really it that's all it does it's pretty destructive though don't get me wrong it's pretty destructive as you can see that brought us pretty deep down and uh it's not bad at all it's a good vanilla one but it's vanilla and that's all it stands at in terms of that moving on to another one that was popularly requested the improved drill mount from louis afk completely forgot about this thing if i'm being honest let's take down this tree right here all right oh my god just a swift swift movement mouse movement stroke is that what this is called Oh. <laughs> honestly this is probably my favorite already uh it just has an ugly sprite that's about it that's all i gotta say moving on hella butt cannon plus mortar rounds and rubber mortar rounds now it says these mortar rounds also will destroy tiles but we're gonna see which one's better i'm pretty sure the rubber ones are better boom oh my god okay see this isn't bad at all <laughs> is it really a, that big of a difference between uh rubber and the non-rubber I know they both drop frame rate though, if you couldn't tell. But nice, looking pretty good. It might be a little dark. Let me turn on the brightness a little bit. But there you go. That is just the regular mortar rounds. Now let's use the rubber ones. They do more damage, which obviously means they're the upgraded version. That's usually how it is. But let's just. I clicked once. Oh my god, they bounce. Hopefully they don't. Actually, it doesn't matter. I don't think anything can really break. Chess. Look at this. Did you see that? Did nothing can break chests but yeah it's seeming like these mortar rounds from calamity are very good for breaking stuff so whenever you need to break a bunch of stuff well there you go all right so now that we got those popular requested items out of the way that i missed out on let's go ahead let's start checking out some of these other mods that we have installed here let's start with this one boom a little mod that goes by utility bombs reborn now this mod is actually a quality of life mod believe it or not and it adds in a bunch of cool stuff don't know what half of this stuff does uses tiles from your inventory oh okay i get it, i get it so it fills stuff in so we're gonna need to spawn in a block here using cheat sheet a lot of people ask me what this is this is cheat sheet let's use uh hmm, what would be an interesting block let's try silver brick but it should fill yeah look at that that's how you make your own little meteoroids when's if i just do one like that bigger one yeah now let's see if it'll destroy this chest right here oh okay all right well let's try again i know there was sticky variants come on i shouldn't need a sticky bomb all right let's see if it destroys what the fuck all right so the next thing we have is the evaporation bomb water doesn't stand a chance water doesn't have a prayer for the dynamite we're here in the pp biome from calamity we're gonna just toss the dynamite in there the best one i'm not in god mode oh my god yeah that just sucked up the water like a sponge let me just throw a couple let, let, let's just you know honestly oh wait don't do it like that let's just sprinkle a couple of these in the water you know see what happens i mean it's going down I don't know where the sea level started, but it's definitely going down, as you can see. So it's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. If you really need to drain water, this is actually a really good utility bomb. Say like I'm building a house down here. I need to drain this water. So guess what? I'm going to toss a bunch of dynamite down here. Evaporation dynamite. Throw a bomb. Get rid of the last couple of puddles. And uh, boom, bada, bing. Drained it. Now let's say you're coming home from a long day of work and you see that somebody drained your hard-earned puddle we got water dynamite and water bombs to fill it back in let's go ahead let's toss a couple of these down here see how much water they put back not not too bad i mean if you ever need to fill water up for some odd reason maybe you're doing a merman playthrough boom bada bing this is obviously a good way to do it there's one more bomb left here and all these other ones are just sticky variations but this right here hell bomb hell bomb and hell dynamite so these two creates a elevator upon receiving a wire signal now what's the difference between the two i don't know but these are placeable so let me try the bomb out and then we'll try the dynamite out i don't know how big the explosion is we're about to see 
Ah, interesting. So it does a elevator like this. I still like the instavator route. But this is not bad. This is not bad at all. It's kind of annoying after a while, if I'm being honest. All right, let's go ahead. Let's try out the dynamite version. Like I said, I'm assuming this is just going to be a bigger explosion. So let's go a little bit further out this way. And then place it right here. Boom. It kind of dipped down a little bit. Okay. Is, is that touching it? Let's just hope so. Yeah, it does make a bigger hole. All right, so these are actually really useful. Uh, they are from the Utility Mods Reborn mod. So, uh, what did I just say? Utility Bombs Reborn mod. Good mod downloaded. This is actually a mod you can use in a playthrough. So, we got two other mods here we're going to check out. One of them has a, a nuclear bomb, and then the other one also has another type of bomb. Let's go ahead. Let's just try the pickaxe out from this mod. The Ragnarok mod, which I assumed meant like Ragnarok as in, you know, Norse mythology. The ending of worlds sort of thing. I think that's what Ragnarok means. I don't know. This is very OP for testing purposes. Yeah, I'll be the judge of that. Okay, it's actually not that bad at all, but I don't know if you can get this legitimately because it does say this is just for testing purposes. So I don't know. There's that pickaxe. It's pretty damn fast. Moving on though to this other stuff. We got Eater of Your World. We got Jack O Shotgun. We got Mega Bomb. We got Unholy Trident. I don't think this is actually something that does something crazy. Nuclear Bomb. Prepare for a long freeze. And of course, let's take the fishing bomb out from here. So we got our last, what, five items. Let's probably see what this just does. Oh, it just blows stuff up, but it's in the shape of a trident. Huh. <laughs> Interesting. That's honestly not what I expected. I thought it was just going to be a really strong version of the unholy trident. But yeah, uh, still can't blow up the chest. I don't think anything can blow up a chest. Moving on to the next one. Let's do the Jack O shotgun. Yeah, you sure you want to use this? Well, I don't know. We're about to see. Oh. It goes through walls. <laughs> that's, that seems like that's about it. Maybe it's just an OP weapon. Not too bad. Maybe I should like summon in like a boss or something. Let's summon in like King Slime. All right. Yeah, he got he got insta kill. But now we're down to the Mega Bomb in the Eater of Your World. I don't know if the Mega Bomb is going to be as good as the Nuclear Bomb. What does this say? It just says it's insane. <laughs> okay. Uh, in the Eater of Your World, shoots a Plantera that will eat every block that comes on its way. I don't like the phrasing of that sentence. <laughs> Holy! Go over here where there's more land to test this out on. Oh, okay. So it goes for a limited time, which is really good. Because if it went any longer, it would probably chew through the whole entire world. Wow! It does it. It does all this destruction to the blocks, but then 10, 10 damage. We're gonna take a little detour here. You know, I really do like the Eater of Your World, but another item from another mod can of mine, the Doom Cannon. In the juice mod i actually use this a good bit in regular playthroughs to create arenas if i need an arena underground this right here is perfect literally perfect for creating an arena let's do one right here we're about to make a little arena say we're underground right now boom nice little square arena that we get here this is good for fighting in like the corruption say if you're fighting a boss from thorium you might fight the granite energy storm boom it can make a perfect arena underground it's a really good item this is another item uh, slash weapon that i missed but moving on to the mega bomb all the mega bomb says is it's insane so let's go ahead let's see how insane it is i don't know if it's a bomb or what it actually does let me find like a good bit of land that can actually be destroyed. Let's go back over here. We need some land that we can destroy. We we can't just have like missing pieces of the world. We need some chunks that we can blow up. Right here seems good. All right, go ahead. Do your thing. Oh, it is an actual bomb. It is an actual bomb. Oh. Why is it always so loud? Oh my God. Oh, we're back. I can finally move again. Oh my God. What just happened? Oh my god it looks like the whole world is gone we did it again we destroyed a whole entire world oh i spoke too soon you tried to trick me mega bomb didn't you okay it doesn't look like the whole world is destroyed but uh look at this made a nice what the fuck i can't talk but look at this it made a nice little bowl a nice little bowl let's see if i can discover all of it and uh, show it off on the map as you can see yeah look at that a nice little bowl shape 
Get some like cocoa puffs or some shit. Get some milk. Mm. So we're down to our last two, the nuclear bomb and the fission bomb. Now, I don't know which one is going to be better slash stronger, but uh, I guess we're about to figure out. Let's head to the dungeon. There's more land over here that we can blow up. Let's try out the nuclear bomb first. Let's just try out the nuclear bomb, see what happens. Because I think the fission bomb might be stronger. Here goes. Oh, it's another one that explodes. Get ready for a long freeze. Get ready for a long freeze. Oh, God. Wow, this really is a long freeze. What the hell? Did the game crash? Oh, don't tell me the game crashed. I don't know how much footage I'll include of that, but the game straight up just crashed. <laughs> it just crashed and all of the progress we did blowing up the world has been reverted but it's all good it doesn't matter that much we're gonna try the nuclear bomb one more time and if my game crashes again then oh well i guess we can consider it the strongest bomb because it does force a game crash literally destroying your game did it actually crash all right so the game crashed again don't know what to say about that but we're gonna try out the fission bomb now and uh we're just gonna hope that this bomb does indeed cause some damage let's go uh deep underground here all right let's do it ready fishing bomb what? that's all it does that shit was ass i swear to god that ragnarok mod said it added in a uh nuke in the mods description i i can't find a nuke but yeah i'm gonna show you guys probably the best way to completely destroy this world and this is probably one of the most secret techniques to destroying a world there you go but yeah that's gonna end off this video as you can see in the bottom left we hit 43k subs thank you guys so much every day we hit a new milestone and i don't know how to thank you guys anymore besides just uploading a video every day but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video check out the mods they will be in the description probably most of them are only on team mod loader so you gotta probably look in the in-game mod browser but yeah make sure to sub leave a like on the video and i will see y'all next time dolly hand grenades not on the pc version i love you guys don't comment about